what's up everybody it's your boy will games 215 underscore in the building and today i am here with black clover chapter 305 the vice captain of the golden dawn um on the cover page we have um what this says this has it presents it just says presents the results from japan of the fifth mage general election with the center color picture of I mean, pictures to celebrate the Spade Kingdom arc's popularity. Of course, Noelle is number one. She had the most development. Like, her character transformed, like, a lot. So, I'm not surprised that a lot of people enjoyed um, Noelle during the Spade Kingdom arc. I'm really not surprised. She's number one with 80,000 votes. And it says there's a total of 838,000 Asta's in second with 67,000 votes. And Notch is in third with 62 votes. So Asta really didn't beat Notch by much. But Noel definitely beat them both <laughs> by a lot. Like, I'm not surprised. Like, I'm really not. Like, she has the, the best character development in the story so far. Like, so I'm really not surprised. Buy me three minutes, says uh, you know. I'll finish him with my next attack. And then we have Langris. <laughs> We've got a spell that can beat the enemy. He needs time to store up mana though. He can't fire it while he's on the defensive. In order to take this guy down, I'll have to distract him and guard Yuno. However, Langris had only been able to evade attacks with Yuno's help. The difference between his skills and Xenon's skills was blindly, blindingly obvious. It's not going to be possible to buy three whole minutes, but I have to do I have, I'm sorry, but I have to do it. I don't know why I feel like I can't read like <laughs> <clears throat> You're the Clover Kingdom's strongest spatial mage, so you're probably starting to see a way through this, right? Says Yuno. Don't tell me you're just going to let him keep thrashing you. And <laughs> Xenon's looking like, I already know what you can and cannot do. Whoosh. Once inside Xenon's absolute space, spatial mana domination, most people can't use magic at all. The only ones who are capable of that are those who have an equivalent amount of mana, those who are beloved by mana like you know and manage to free themselves and spatial mages who've mastered mana zone so xenon's just looking and his bones are coming towards him but they're being destroyed by langris's spatial magic oh it may be small but he's created his own territory within my absolute space i knew you could do it nicely done says uh you know yeesh you're one seriously irritating junior member Ever since he joined the brigade, brigade, he's been insolent and presumptuous, but he had the skills to back it up. The Golden Dawn. I'll become captain of the Golden Dawn. This is a flashback. Oh, yes? What that says, meaning you're completely ignoring me, the vice captain. <laughs> Looking back, I may have hated him because we were so similar. I just never felt as if I lose. I thought there was some. I, I thought there was no way somebody like you could surpass me. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The attacks are just being like dissipated. Dot, dot, dot. In the end, though you have no way to attack me, you have no spell that could defeat me, says Xenon. This guy's mana is completely out of our league. I'm not going to last long. Get charged up as fast as you can. I'm working on it. Oh, they're like communicating that's right my spatial magic was invincible if i did my best that was all it took as long as i was there my brigade my brigade was the strongest but your strength was different it was as if you were spurring us on with that win as if you were flying as if we were flying with you your strength wasn't self-centered the way you hated losing inspired everyone and made us stronger it's galing, but I admit it. You are the vice captain of the Golden Dawn. Whoosh. In the face of overwhelming power, neither emotions nor tenacity mean anything. Ooh. 
chunk, chunk, chunk. Oh, he got stabbed up in the leg, in the side, in the shoulder. Oof. At this point, though, with what happened last chapter, do I even get myself worked up by this happening to Langers at this point? Like, I'm not going to lie. Do I get myself like, oh, my God, he could possibly die here? Not with Angel Mimosa. <laughs> Just bring him up and back to life. <laughs> All that exists is the fact that I am stronger than both of you. That is the reality. And then Langris pushes off. Maybe so. But I can't just say, oh, is that right? And back down. And Langris is still getting sliced up. We belong to the ultimate brigade. The Golden Dawn. I knew it says you know when create when spirit creation magic you hate losing more than anything too spirit of eros <laughs> and he's looking shocked and that is the end of the chapter so basically this chapter was ba oh, it was cold i gotta turn my hair off or turn it now um <laughs> basically this was like a chapter of realization for Langris more so than you know Langris this is to show us how his character has developed so far where he's come how far he's come from him basically almost killing his brother and um now he's like trying to be a good vice captain to his brigade and then you have you know who he feels like he's inferior to a little bit because it's like dang you know you're doing all of this and you might be the captain of the Golden Dawn. Like, if you keep going to where you're going. Like, he already acknowledges him as a vice captain, which makes me believe that he's going to die. But, as I said, could bring him back to life Mimosa. Like, I don't know. Like, but it was a uh, okay chapter. Nothing really. I mean, it was character development for Langris, like, at the most. Like, that's what it really was. Like, um,. We got most of this fight in the beginning of the arc. Then they cut away from it for a while. So I kind of feel like this is a rushed ending. If this is the ending. So I'm looking forward to the next chapter to see what's going to happen. Um, the only fight from the three that I really just felt like did not get the resolution it was supposed to get was Dante. Yeah, it was like a showcase for magna but i feel like asta should have been the one to beat him like in the end like he should have been the true one to beat him not magna like noel's get, got her closure with megalusia with her mother her brother lolo pika all the damage that she caused and then you have you know gaining revenge on xenon for killing basically everybody in the golden dawn it just feels like Asta didn't truly get his revenge for Dante for him taking Yami. But that is neither here nor there. Good chapter. Enjoyed it. Simple, straight to the point. Langer's character development. You know, preparing for his final attack. That's probably not going to work. And they're going to have to find another way to beat him. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Um, I have my Eden Zero tier list. I recorded it late last night at like 12 o'clock in the morning. Um, I am in the process of editing it right now. Um, and then I have a couple videos that I might upload. Um, and then I might be streaming. Well, I'm probably going to stream on my um, Facebook gaming page later on today. So if you want to look out for that, might be Dead by Daylight. Um, yeah, so be on the lookout for that. <laughs> it's your boy, Will Games 2 1 5 underscore signing out don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel if you are new and if you enjoyed the content peace